The place we are going to was a real hell a few months ago. Yes, I'm talking about the Russian-Georgian border. It is called Vernilars. Not a lot of people knew about this place, but after the announcement of mobilization at the end of September, oh my god, what's this happening there? The queue is for several days. People with pets, children, the lack of water and food has led to an increase of corruption. For a big money, ambulance take people to the very beginning of a queue. We don't really know what is going on there right now. Most likely it's already quiet there and there's not that many cars, but the immigration is still happening. I'm still subscribed to one Telegram channel and it was really popular while mobilization was happening. People was writing there how Q is protesting, what guards are asking, and the messages are still coming there, although like officially mobilization already over. But there are rumors that in a couple of weeks the new wave of mobilization will happen. So, so let's see what it is, the border with Georgia right now. It took us about 10 hours to get there. And on the border we saw majestic mountains and just magnificent landscapes. <clears throat> yeah, of course. That's what we saw actually because we arrived at the border only at 3 o'clock in the morning. Congratulations! 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 So there was only small traffic jam at the border of Georgia. It took us about 20 minutes to pass everything. By the way, the more closer we was getting to the border, the more billboards there was with a call to defend Motherland. Is this coincidence? I don't think so. But this is a really weird decision because probably people who are going to the border of Georgia, they're not really fans of going to army. There you need to pass two checkpoints on the Russian side and on the Georgian side. And of course everything went and a little bit not perfect. <laughs> At the Russian border we were checking documents and the employee who was checking my document for some reason was not really nice with me. <laughs> she was like a little you know, at the Russian border, I was a little scared because what question are they gonna ask? Why I'm going to Georgia? Am I gonna come back? Blah, blah, blah. But she didn't ask me anything, only like which city you're going to. But she asked me to look in her eyes so she can check, is it me on the photo, on the passport? And she did this. Emotional damage! Because I was scared, I didn't say anything, I was just looking at her eyes like that and did not blink. But that was humiliating. The thing is, on the passport photo I wear makeup and to be honest, I, I tried my best to look good on this passport photo. After 10 hours on the road, I did not look my best. I slept only like 2 hours night ago and 2 days we was on car, like... And she looked fresh, you know? So yeah, Russian days at the border humiliated me. And after that we went to Georgian checkpoint and there's Georgian man sitting in the window and I'm coming there and he's like, oh, so this is what Snow White looks like. Let's ignore the fact that I don't look like Snow White at all, but it was nice. And after that he just looked at my photo and passport. <laughs> I was like, please don't say anything. And he looked at my photo and he's like, oh, you're wearing too much makeup on that photo. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. This is not what I was expecting from the border checkpoints. I was thinking I'll have a little bit different questions. But anyway, like, do you feel the difference? At one side I was humiliated and on the other side I was called to princess. I'm not hinting on anything, but do you feel the difference? <laughs> Conclusions were made. By the way, like, Yes, on the passport photo I really overdo my makeup. <laughs> maybe I will post it on my Patreon and Boosty. Like, maybe. That's not for sure. So in general, the most worried I was about my young man, because you know, at the September they were asked questions like Did you serve in the army? Are you gonna come back to Russia? And all Russians were saying I'm just going on a trip to Georgia, I'm gonna come back in a few weeks. But there was nothing like that. No one asked him anything, but I experienced an emotional swing with humiliation and praise. Спасибо большое. And here is a little apartment tour because this apartment is so cute. The owner of the apartment is a Georgian artist, and it is clear that she made the design by herself. All these paintings she drew by herself. This space is very creative and cozy. Gamardjova. This is some kind of curse. I wanted to film a video of the background of mountains. They are huge here. But it started snowing and 
you see nothing but trust me here is nice mountains they're everywhere and they're huge today is orthodox christmas so i guess no it's something like a christmas miracle and also i got sick a lot of miracles these days i wanted to talk a little bit about my first impressions of georgia and first of all it felt like a parallel universe just because then we came to the airport on the tv there was a flight schedule and on the bottom there was a uh, writing glory to ukraine and also there was ukrainian flag in russia you can go to jail for that so then you come to our country and it is like everywhere and you know this feeling then you look around and you realize there is no z patriots around like no this is so unusual you see here mountain so yeah ukrainian flags are everywhere and also the most important thing that here i can do this and no one gonna do me anything almost all my relatives asked me this question then i came to georgia how do locals treat you as a russian like my mom she was asking how's the situation there can you speak russian on the streets and i'm like Every second language I hear is Russian. Probably it's because here's a lot of tourists now, but also because older generation, they just, they speak Russian. Younger generation mostly do not speak. So every time I go to some shop or restaurant, I start speaking English, but all the time these people start speak Russian with me. Somehow they realize I'm Russian. But the one thing which I experienced, I went to the shop to buy some souvenirs and uh, the shop worker, she asked me, what you will wish for a new year? For Putin to die? I'm not gonna say what I answered on that <laughs> for safety reason. I leave it for you to the discussion in the comments. So yeah, I did not experience any hate and Georgians mostly complain not on Russian people but on Russia as a government, as a state institution. So yeah, here is a lot of graffiti not only with Ukrainian flag but also with a Russian flag like displayed in a bad way and maybe for some people who've been living like under this flag for all their lives it may seem offensive. But come on, if my face is there, that will be much more offensive. But my belonging to a certain state is not define me as a human. I was more offended to one apartment where we stayed with my family in Belisi. I'm gonna post next video about it. It was offensive. But you know what is really, really weird? I'm Russian blogger. And after the events of February 2022, I finally escaped Russia and I'm staying now here in Georgia. And it seems very logical and nice but in five hours I'm going back to Russia <laughs> yes right during the rumors about the second the, the largest wave of mobilization in Russia so yeah I escaped Russia for two weeks <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you that you've been clickbait I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this as a thumbnail like I escaped Russia forget me this time it's gonna happen again you know what to do like follow comment like you know in fact we came here just to celebrate new year with our family because it's like one part of our family is in samara our brother is georgia with his wife we are on the south of russia so like we are everywhere so we decided to gather in here in one place just to celebrate it so in conclusion I really loved Georgia, but to be honest, I'm really looking forward to come back to Russia just because everything there is so easy, you know, even though it's like kind of mess, but in Russia, I know there to go to buy stuff. In Russia, I don't need to go out just because delivery brings everything to me in 10 minutes. Everything is so simple and it feels like home there, you know. I think you understand what I mean. I've been always thinking I want to immigrate to some other place, but it's already the second time that I go abroad and I really want to come back to Russia. Russia is a good country with some problems. So I really hope we will have better times and all people who is now in the forced immigration will be able to come back home. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you're staying warm and take care of yourself. Пока-пока.